Now, this is a question unrelated to preaching. It's answering a member's question about if God is love, how come there is so much suffering and pain in the world? Yeah. Now, Genesis chapter 3 towards the answer. When Adam has sinned, the world was cursed. And so, even when men works on the field, there will be thorns and thistles. And when men have this sinful nature, there's always fighting and stealing and killing. And that's why the world is full of pain and suffering. And God's plan to help people there is only one way through Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ forgives the person, then the person can start to change. Without Jesus Christ, God cannot put love in the world. God cannot put peace in the world. People have to come to Jesus <laughs> and then they are changed and then the world can be changed. So the point is because most people in the world don't follow God. So the world goes into more and more trouble. But in countries where people follow God more, there are more blessings in the world in that country. But the Bible has prophesied at the end there will be more and more pain and suffering. The first reason is because that people sin, therefore it brings more pain and suffering. People are away from God, so the blessings of God are away from them. But God also uses suffering as a sign to warn people that there will be greater suffering. In the warning that there, there can be a final punishment and that is worse than the suffering in the world. So the suffering in the world doesn't mean that God doesn't love us. It just means that the world is separated from God. The world is separated from God. And therefore the world suffers. But God wants to use Christians to rescue the world. To bring more people to Jesus. Then they can live a joyful life and peaceful life. And have more blessings from God. And also bring healing of the land. When more people follow Jesus, there can be healing. But it's a sad thing that many Christians, when they believe in Jesus, they don't really follow God totally. So the families are not healed. Even many churches has a lot of pain and suffering. So we want to bring the kingdom of God we want to bring the kingdom of God into the church. 